Today is Christmas Eve, December the 24th. So what have we learned from all these prophecies? Let's find out together. I wanted to end our study of the prophecies of the Old Testament about the Messiah quoting with very little comment Zechariah chapter 9. Listen to the amazing specificity of this prophet. Rejoice, O people of Zion. Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming to you. He's righteous and victorious. Yet he's humble, riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. I'll remove the battle chariots from Israel and the war horses from Jerusalem. I'll destroy all the weapons used in battle, and your king will bring peace to the nations. His realm will stretch from sea to sea, from the Euphrates River to the ends of the earth. Because of the covenant I made with you, sealed with blood, I will free your prisoners from a death in a waterless dungeon. Come back to the place of safety, all you prisoners who still have hope. I promise this very day that I'll repay two blessings for each of your troubles. Zechariah is amazingly specific when he talks about what Jesus will do. And uh, Jesus eventually does ride into Jerusalem on a colt as their king. Here in this passage, we see that the Messiah, the coming Messiah, will reign supreme and all nations will know. We see that he brings salvation and justice to the entire earth. And we see that all nations can follow him. So what have we learned in this little jaunt through messianic prophecies in the Old Testament. We talked the very first day about eight themes. Let's just review those themes. The coming Messiah will be a blessing, first of all. We see that from God's promise to Abraham right down through the prophecies that we read in Psalms and on into the prophets and minor prophets. The Messiah who comes will bless the world. He'll be a king or a ruler. He's commonly called a king. Infrequently, he's called David. He will be my son who reigns over Israel. He's called the anointed one. Well, we saw that the term Messiah is not a frequent term in the Old Testament, but it occurs enough that when we come to the New Testament, the most common title given to Jesus is Jesus the Christ, Jesus the Messiah, Jesus the Anointed One. In the Old Testament, only two kinds of people were anointed, the priests and the kings. Jesus is both. We see that he is God. It's amazing how frequently the Old Testament implies and sometimes states just directly that the coming Messiah will be God. Enough that we're amazed when we understand that the messianic expectation that they held in the first century was that the Messiah would be a man. Well. Indeed, he was a man, but they missed that the Old Testament predicts that he would be God. The fifth prophecy concerning the Messiah, the fifth theme, is that the Messiah would be a prophet. Now, Moses is the one who most clearly said, uh, after me, God will raise up a prophet just like me. Um, Jesus was that prophet. 
the sixth theme, the Messiah comes to give salvation and justice to all who need it. He comes to support those who are being mistreated. The seventh theme, the Messiah would suffer. We see this very clearly in the book of Isaiah, but we also see it in the book of Psalms. The Messiah, the anointed one who comes, even though he is king, he suffers and even dies. The final theme, the Messiah comes, not just for Israel, but for all nations. There's an amazing richness to the prophecies of the Old Testament about the coming Messiah. Look back at what we've studied over the last month today and spend time today thanking the Lord that He came to us. Please like, follow, and subscribe on whatever platform you used to listen to this devotional. We'll see you this afternoon and this evening in our Christmas Eve services.